In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to convert OPC alarms and events data to OPC DA or OPC UA. To read OPC alarms and events data from an A&E server, you need an A&E client. Some SCADAs do not support OPC A&E. They do support, however, OPC DA and UA. In the Data Hub, we can convert data from OPC A&E to OPC DA to make those points available to your HMI or SCADA. Now let me show you what I mean. The first step is to add a connection to our OPC a &E server. In this case, we're going to connect to our top server. We're going to put the data in the OPC AE domain. Now this is only going to be the OPC a &E formatted data. If we want to convert the, the a &E points to individual DA or UA points, we need to check these boxes here and we need to specify what data domain we'd like to put them in. I'm going to put them into the OPC a &E underscore DA domain. Click OK. Click Apply. The status should go to running. That will say that we have a connection. And if we view the data, we can see we have here's our OPC a and &E data. If we go to the status and we look at the tag, you can see that a and &E data is quite complex. There's a lot of information in a single a and &E data structure. This is why it's not easy for DA clients to read this data. Now, in our data domain where we've broken that out, if we go under areas, we go under the custom alarms, I have two custom alarms, and you can see all of those different pieces of data from that complex data structure have been broken out to uh, individual points so they can be looked at individually. So you can see things like the last time it was in condition, uh, when the condition was last inactive, in this case it wasn't, the last time it was, it was acknowledged, and so on and so forth. All this information can then be made available to your HMI or SCADA. So the next step we would do is connect our client. So let me open up our client here. Here's my OPC DA client. I'm going to add a connection to the Cogent Data Hub. I'm going to add a group, and I'm going to browse for the tags. In this case, you want to make sure you're browsing the tags that are broken out individually. And in this case, I'm going to go under Custom Alarms, Area 1, and I want all the tags under that area. Click Add Leaves, click OK. And let's, we can see here that we have all the tags from our data hub. These were coming from an OPC A&E server. We broke them into individual data points that could be consumed by an OPC DA client. And alternatively, since the Data Hub can act as an OPC UA server as well, we could serve data up to a UA client. For more information, visit our website at softwaretoolbox.com slash datahub.